Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I am doing a quick tutorial on these little ornaments from the Dollar Tree. So it's a dollar, it has the bell inside, it's super, super cute. Um, what I did was, I had my daughter, who is five, write her name and the year, and then I took a picture of it on my phone and I transferred it or I you know, got it onto HTV. Now I did HTV because I felt like it was gonna be small and I like to weed uh, HTV, like iron on vinyl, way more than I do regular vinyl and I feel like it has a better chance of sticking. So I'm gonna, so this is obviously HTV. It is black glitter, so it's gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna put the 2020 maybe over here. Now you can see how it got really light right here. I had her use a marker, but this marker was a little bit dying, but I still did it anyway. So there's a little gap right there because it's it's as if it didn't read it. But if you see, look at that. That is a very accurate representation of her writing and I love it. So first things first, I have rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna do just enough to clean it, but not take off the paint. I'm a little bit worried about uh, the Dollar Tree materials and just, you know, how good everything is. But I'm gonna do that here because I want it between the two stars because I feel like that's gonna give me the most space. And then I'm gonna put the 2020. Okay, so we've got that down. I'm gonna cut this because we're gonna apply it two times. We're gonna apply the name first and then the 2020. And I feel like you could do that. Now see, the reason why I also went with HTV is they had this new one this year and it's glitter. So with glitter, your vinyl is most likely gonna fall off after not too long. So with HTV, it's gonna stick, it's gonna stick and stay on. So that's the other reason why I went with HTV but this weeded super easily. Um, all right, so let's put this down and, all right, I think we're good. I am going to take this and see if I can get it down. I mean, I love my mini. I didn't, I thought it was a frivolous buy when I first ordered it, but I use it on a lot of projects, so it is definitely worth the purchase. Now let's just hope I don't set anything on fire. All right, we want to just heat it up so that the glue is activated on the on the HTV and see if we can pull this off anywhere. Okay, that's not working yet. Let's work on just the C first and see if we can pull off the C. So it's not working a whole lot, but I can press this down without ruining my C. Do you see that? So it's lifting up, but that's okay because I'm gonna use my Teflon sheet and my Teflon sheet will allow more heat to come through. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the first two letters first. So, where did my H, oh my gosh, my H fell in there. Hold on, let me grab my tweezers. I just had my tweezers here. Where did they go? Give me one second, it fell inside. Okay, here are my tweezers. It's like operation. All right, here's my H. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it down. Make sure it's right side up. Okay, and I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet on top. Oh, and look it, it's down. Oh, my C, did, my H is down, not my C. Yeah, my H is not moving. Okay, let me get my C down. When you're putting the Teflon sheet down, just make sure that your letter is still where you want it because if it's not sticking at all, then it may move while you're putting it down. So just double check. All right, let's see if this is. 
it's almost there it's still moving a little bit but now it's stuck on top so do you see that so that means the glue is getting warm and it's activating so we just need to do a little bit more so now I'm just going to make sure that the C is getting enough heat Okay, that's down. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of these letters. And I'm just gonna peel it off. And that's the nice thing about Glitter HTV2 is that it's strong, so, and it, you know, it's not flimsy, so like I can peel off these letters and they hold their shape. And, oops, my L just came off. I really do, I love working with um, Glitter HTV. I just gotta get it in the right place. And then I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet down. Okay. And the nice thing about this is the ornament is a dollar. <laughs> So if you mess up, we can redo it. Okay. So my A moved a little bit, but that's okay. But all my other letters stayed, so that's really good. I'm gonna put this A down where I want it. And um, I've been doing my daughter's name. I've been having her write her name at the beginning. It was just draw me something. So we have ornaments from all the years. So it's really, really cute. Um, and it goes on her grandparents' tree. And one day I'll get the ornaments back, so. All right, so it's down. There's Charlo. And then I'm gonna put down the 2020. So let's see, where did I just put that? Here it is, <laughs> like I lost it. Okay, so I'm gonna trim off these sections right here and see if I can apply the 2020 without taking it off the sheet. Okay, so without the sheet, I'm gonna put it down. It has the tough, or it has the transfer sheet, so I'm going to Try to get enough heat on here. The zero stuck, as well as the two, I think. Yep. So, so far everything's stuck, except for this first two, because I haven't applied any heat to it. Okay, so it's on, but I wanna get a little bit more heat on there, but look at that, it's <laughs> so cute. Okay, um, so I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet on now and then run it over here just to make sure it has enough heat and the glue is really activated and pressed down on the ornament. And there you have it. That's pretty cute. Um, so again, I think, you know, I did this because I felt like it was easier and it would stick and I didn't want to pull off any paint. I don't know how well the paint is going to stay um, with it being just a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So I felt with the iron, it was a better, it was a safer bet and like they're not coming off. And definitely for the glitter, I don't think your adhesive vinyl will stick very well. Um, or if you did use adhesive vinyl, I would still stick a little heat on there to really get that glue going and to stick to the glitter. But I would recommend um, Glitter HTV because it was so easy. You saw how I was able to, to pull off each one and apply it. All right, let me know what you think. And if you have a special project or a special um, request for 
Christmas or for any project, let me know. Put your comments here, and then you can also send me an email to Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com, and uh, give me all the details, the files, whatever else. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.